It's a quick turnaround for the Patriots as they get ready to play the LA Rams this Thursday, Thursday night football. It's sure to be a good one. I'm Mariah Jones, joined by Evan Lazar. We're going to take a look at this Rams team and kind of what's in store for the Patriots come Thursday night. Uh, I want to start with the offense. They're coming off of a 38-28 win over Arizona. The NFC West honestly is no joke, and they're tied for first now in the West in that division. Uh, What can you expect from Jared Goff in this offense? Well, there's a lot to unpack here, and I, I'm feeling the short week, so I'm sure the Patriots are feeling the short week, too. It's a lot to cram in in just a short period of time. I think Bill Belichick is trying to downplay, kind of carrying over the game plan from the Super Bowl a few years ago into this game, but offensively, the Rams are pretty similar to what they were in that Super Bowl. A very heavy outside zone rushing attack, a lot of condensed splits, 11 personnel, three wide receiver. They do a lot of different things of just marrying their running game to their passing game. So a lot of things look the same, but then they play out differently. So it's really just a matter of being, you know, focused on your keys, uh, being disciplined in your assignments and, and not overplaying certain things because that's exactly what Sean McVay wants you to do. Now with Jared Goff, I think it's a really interesting sort of narrative about his season because they are not really having him throw the football down the field all that much. Last week against Arizona, he had an extremely, I think it was like four yards, uh, four air yards per pass attempt, which is just at you know really nothing it's for an NFL quarterback that's as low as it gets so they're not really allowing him to open it up down the field too much probably tells you a little bit about Jared Goff's ability to read the defense down the field and and decipher what they're doing so I expect a lot of the same kind of spinning the dial uh, 6-1 front for New England's defense to stop the wide zone stuff and then really shutting down those big plays off of play action from there that's the Rams offense it's wide zone rushing play action off of it. And if you can shut down that sequencing, then you'll be able to shut down this offense. Patriots Press Pass is brought to you by Manscaped. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code PRESSPASS20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com using the code PRESSPASS20. Take the leap and join the Manscaped movement today. Now, looking at the other side of the ball, the Rams have a pretty scary guy by the name of Aaron Don. Aaron Donald, excuse me, second in the league in sacks with 11 right behind TJ Watt. What can we expect out of him and just that Rams defense as a whole? He's so scary. You don't even want to say his name. No, I really just get chills. I get a little bit scared when I think about him to be. Yeah. So they have a, I, I do too. They have a first year defensive coordinator in Brandon Staley. Wade Phillips is obviously retired from football and moved on. And Staley has brought in Vic Fangio's defense from Chicago and from Denver with him to LA more or less. They play a lot of quarters, a lot of cover six. They sprinkle in a lot of cover three in there as well. So a lot of zone coverage, the Patriots are, going to see this week from the Rams but what they also do I think that's going to be really difficult for the Patriots is obviously pressure the quarterback and that starts with Aaron Donald but they're able to do it in a bunch of different ways and they do really come at you from the second level of the defense blitzing their linebackers rushing guys that you might not expect to rush in into the pass rush you know guys like over the slot or the linebackers at the second level like I mentioned the safeties can be pretty aggressive as well so that's the type of scheme that they are running now it's a little bit different than what Wade Phillips did, which is just that traditional 3-4 type of look that we've always known Wade for. So it's a little bit different defensively. Offensively, it's pretty much the same as Super Bowl 53. Aaron Donald's still there. He's still going to wreak havoc and be a problem that you're going to have to focus on. But I think the difficulty with this Rams defense and what makes it so good this year, because they're a top five unit pretty much across the board, total yards, passing yards, rushing yards, DVOA. I mean, go right on down the line. I think what makes them so difficult is that so much of the game plan is focused on Donald and slowing him down in the pass rush that they're able to use that to kind of get one-on-ones or get free rushers elsewhere because they know teams are going to send multiple bodies at Donald. So I think the question is for the Patriots is how much can they live with Shaq Mason and Joe Tooney kind of on an island against Aaron Donald like we saw at times in the Super Bowl with Tooney and allow them to block up the other things that the Rams are going to send their way because it's going to be a pretty aggressive a zone blitz type of scheme, I would think, from Brandon Staley on Thursday night. Now, thinking back to Super Bowl 53, a lot of people that don't really appreciate defense didn't really appreciate that game and everything yeah. that went on there. Are you expecting another low-scoring game revolved around the defense on both sides? 
Well, if you're the Patriots, I think that's what you're hoping for, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think you want to get into a, a true shootout with, with the Rams offense. Not that it's, you know, the 07 Pats or anything like that, but it is a, a, probably a better passing attack, at least than what the Patriots put out there. So I wouldn't want to get into a shootout, but I think what you saw with the Super Bowl that you said, you know, people didn't really give credit for was the chess match between Bill Belichick and Sean McVay. And Belichick obviously got the much better, uh, you know, hand in that one than McVay. But I think what you're going to see is McVay throw some things at Belichick that maybe he's not expecting. Maybe they run some more type of gap running schemes instead of all of their wide zone stuff. Maybe they or incorporate some power runs or some counter plays, things like that, just to throw the Patriots off uh, just a little bit. Because I think that what Sean McVay probably learned from the Super Bowl is that if you go in with a game plan against Bill Belichick, that's exactly the same as everything you've been doing all year, then Bill's going to scheme it up against you and he's going to know exactly how to stop it. So that that's really the next iteration for Sean McVay, I think, is becoming more game plan oriented where he can say, okay, Bill's probably going to be ready for this, so we have to now do that. And, and can the Rams get into that? that? That's really the question. Absolutely. For all of our Patriots coverage, head to clnsmedia.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel over at Patriots Press Pass.